What's going on guys? It's Corey with Brown Family Ranch. Today I am videoing with my cell phone because my camera's inside the house. And it's too dang hot to go back inside and get it. So what we've been working on today is we have been working on a working pin. Ha, ah, no pun intended. Working on a working pin, handling pin for the goats. And as you guys may have seen in the background just a second ago. Uh, so we got this thing uh, probably about six months ago. Uh, it is, crap, I forget the brand of it. Um, but it's a working pin and this thing probably all together is around three, $4,000. Uh, especially with price of metal and uh, everything like that today, probably around four, four grand. So we wanted to put it to use and six months has gone by and it's been way too long and I should have put this into effect a little earlier, but like I said, I've been busy picking up goats, taking care of my baby girl, taking care of my wife, working um, and all that good stuff. So without further ado guys, here it is. So there's the working pin, right? But this is what's new. So we use the uh, little fabricated round pin that we use for the horses, which we don't ever use. Uh, we planned on using it, but we never did. Um, so we took a bunch of this stuff. This is goat, or this is horse wire from Tractor Supply. Um, we used that and I just took a bunch of zip ties. Zip ties are my best friend. Um, and if they're not yours, you're, you're crazy and nobody likes you. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's all zip tied to this. I probably used about a thousand, which is pretty tedious work whenever you, uh, whenever you start doing it, but you know, it is worth it. Like I said, we got probably about a, maybe a, 15 foot by 20, 30 foot section for the uh, goats. Hey, I even cut out a little hole for your hand to go in whenever you wanna lock this thing. Boom. That ain't going nowhere. Come on. Are you stupid. There we go. That ain't going nowhere. So we got BT's White Lightning and we're gonna test him out on this little working pin. So as you guys can see, we'll funnel them all in here with some food, right? And when it's time to work, we'll bring them around town. I don't know why I'm talking like that. As you can tell, SpongeBob was a big part of my life back in the day. So, like I said, we're gonna open this little gate. I do have to get some rope for it. It'll go straight through there. On to the next gate. We walk back out and open this up. And then we will open that up. It'll go on through there up to that. And then we yank on this thing right here. They go on in. And then they get their head stuck. Right chunder way. You pull this little lever up right here. Boom, and it shuts it. Would you just look at that? Would you just look at it? I'm really excited about it. I've been wanting to get this done for, like I said, the last six months, but oh, work, baby. Yeah, it's really hard. You gotta give it to the moms out there, the full-time moms. They they're tough. Give them credit when credit's due. It is hard to get anything done with a baby on your hip. Um, I mean, I try my best. You know, a lot of the stuff that I try to do on my off days, whenever I have Emmy, is, you know, tractor work. So, you know, she can kind of ride with me. So if I brush hog in, anything like that, I can do that. All right, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Huh. I'm gonna have to hook a rope up here in a second. All right, so I got a rope on it. 
I uh, just, uh, this was tied up on the uh, main little working system. And so I just kind of tied it up so I can get white lightning through there. But I wanted to show you guys how this thing works. Maybe we can get these other boys in there. Come on, boys. Come on. Nope. It's not going to happen. All right, let's lock this so we don't have any escape artists. All right. Well, White Lightning decided to get stuck, so we're gonna have to help him out. Okay, there we go. All right, let's run him in. All right, so now he's in there. We're gonna lower this. Boom, a little harder than I expected. And then, so we'll have somebody inside of here kind of pushing them through. So we'll get him to come in here. Good boy. So that is open. We'll kind of shoot him through. Yeah, you're doing it all backwards, buddy. You're doing it all backwards. All right, now that's closed. Now let's open this. Go ahead. <laughs> Dare to be different, Rylax. Right, Dare to be different. Okay, so. When we do this. Okay, so he'll stick his head through, hopefully. But. Come on. Come on. Wait on you. Need your hooves trimmed. All right, so now he's stuck, can't go nowhere. So if you need to work his, work his hooves. Give shots. He's right here. Boom. Relax, buddy. You're okay. Yep. Alrighty, buddy. We're done with you. We're going to close this up. Boom. Open this up. Come on. Come on, Bubba. There he goes. Happy boy. All right, so I just want to show you guys how that kind of that setup is. Um, this is kind of a, a cheap man's or a poor man's setup. Um, these things, we got this whole round pin. It was like a 40 foot wide or in diameter round pin. We got it for like 200 bucks. So each panel, I mean, that equals out to, I think we have like 12 panels. Equals out to like, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks a piece. They're all rusted up, but hey, they weren't good for this uh, situation. And we are happy about it. So that is our new working pin. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and, uh, and the notification bell lets you guys know when I post new videos. Uh, pretty soon, I will be showing you guys what we do. Uh, actually, some live rounds in this where we uh, get some goats in there and we'll trim hooves. We'll give them their annual vaccines like CD&T um, and uh, uh, pneumonia vaccine, so on and so forth. So you guys stick along. Thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time.